welcome back to Symptoms of Menopause. I believe this is number 19, but it'll be in the description box. I hope you are all doing well. And today's video is an update on symptoms of menopause and having an IUD for perimenopause. And in my last video, I'll put it up here, um, I did a little update on the fact that I had an IUD put in. It's been over a year now, so I thought it was time to do an update. And I've had a couple questions come in regarding the IUD, so I wanted to do a video just on this. So again, I have had the IUD in for over a year now, and I put the IUD in, um, if you've been following along, I hope you have, please watch the whole Symptoms of Menopause series because it's definitely pretty much in order. A little, not exact, but still, it'll give you a really good idea of how my whole journey has gone. So I put the IUD in solely at first because I was having a horrible problem with excess bleeding. I was literally bleeding so heavy that I couldn't even leave the house. Um, no, any sort of feminine products didn't work. Um, it was horrible. I became anemic. I even ended up at the hospital a couple times. I was a mess. And this kept happening probably over about two years. Of course, it progressed. It wasn't, you know, I mean, it was horrible to begin with, but it just kept getting heavier and heavier and then it would last longer and longer. So this was probably about, let's see, I've had the IUD in for a year and then it did that for about two years. So I probably was, uh, you know, 46 is when the bleeding, my cycles had already ch started to change. I've already discussed that in other videos, um, which is pretty common with the perimenopause to where then they were every other period, really heavy and then really light to where then they just were heavy and they would last. So of course the doctor at first tried to give me just progesterone when I would start bleeding and then just to try and control the bleeding. I also then did go on um, the birth control pill, which I have discussed, that I did not like. It did help to regulate my period and did help to control the bleeding, uh, but it, gave me a bunch of other side effects. And I don't do well on the birth control pill anyways. I never had. I suffer from the hyperemesis when I am pregnant. So the birth control itself would also make me highly nauseous. So I found that it still continued to do that, um, even taking it years later. So that was not successful with just the pill. I tried even to like three different birth control pills. So finally, and let me go back a minute. I had been offered the IUD. I had a great doctor, uh, one of my many doctors, um, that had suggested the IUD, that she thought that that was a great idea, especially if you're suffering from the bleeding and suffering from a lot of different symptoms of perimenopause. Um, at that time, it made me a little bit nervous just because I felt I had had a copper IUD back in the day and I hated that. And if any of you are familiar with that copper IUD, it talk about making your periods heavy and you're cramping. Whoa. So um, I just connected, you know, the experience with that experience and I was afraid to get the IUD. Also, I just... Let me know if you can agree. I just didn't wasn't comfortable thinking, okay, well, if I have this IUD in, how do I know what's happening? You know, normally they say that once you take the IUD, then after about a year, six months to a year, you don't have a period. Um, and I kind of thought to where I was at the place I was at was like, okay, well, I want to really know what's happening and how will I know? So that kind of made me nervous. I wanted to know what was happening with my body. I especially wanted to know when I reached that one year with no period and I saw, well, if the IUD takes it away, then yeah, so. Anyway, so I had been offered it, but I just really didn't, wasn't comfortable with it at that time. So I ended up just out of desperation because the birth control pills didn't work and I had to do something. 
And I also had heard from Menopause Barbie, which we love. Um, thank you, Menopause Barbie. I have so I owe so much to her for my education in menopause. Uh, but I also had heard from her that saying that a lot of women that get an IUD just breeze right through perimenopause. And I have a girlfriend, a couple girlfriends who also had the IUD and they weren't having any trouble. And it was like, okay. So that's when I did decide, okay, let, I had another doctor once I got to Washington. Okay. She offered it again. And she's as well agreed that it was a great option. So I took it. I actually have the Mirena. Um, it releases the progesterone. So it does release a hormone. Whereas like the copper IUD does not, um, but only progesterone. So um, I am happy to report that it immediately started to control the, breathing, the bleeding. Um, within probably about three months, I noticed just a very slow decrease, you know, each time. Um, I immediately wasn't able to really figure out when my cycle was happening. Uh, but it definitely got the bleeding under control to where I really, maybe the first period or two, I would have a little bit light bleeding. Um, and then just slowly each cycle would just kind of, or you didn't, I didn't really even know if I was having a cycle. So that was a little tricky, uh, but it just kind of tapered off to where then I wasn't noticing any sort of bleeding except for spotting. So, um, but other than that, I want to report that that is a plus. It controlled my bleeding. So if any of you are at that place where you're really struggling with that heavy bleeding, it is a good option. It also is a good option um, because it helps with other things. Remember, we know in perimenopause, we're slowly, we're starting to lose that estrogen, but not very, very little of estrogen are we starting to lose uh, it's the progesterone that's going wonky and also the testosterone is doing you know wonkiness a little I mean it's state same thing a little more on the steady decreasing side like the estrogen so that is your perimenopause so by putting the IUD in you basically give your body a very low dose of steady consistent progesterone which hello would make sense from that spike roller coaster um, yeah just kind of evens it out and I'm happy to report that that's exactly what I feel it is doing so I have shared also you know I'm taking testosterone as well which help with so many other things but again this video is on the IUD so as well as other things it's helping. I also think that progesterone is kind of in the background, but it's kind of the main um, hormone or you know device that is releasing that progesterone, so it is balancing me out. I feel like it's brought me back. Finally, it took a while, but I would say after about eight months, I really started to say, okay, you know what? This thing is doing something because it's – I've – started to already feel like I was more even keeled, um, not having as many of these very severe mood swings. So I feel like it helped with that as well as the bleeding. Um, it may have even helped with the libido, even though I swear by the testosterone for the libido, but think about it. If the, you know, you're releasing and that steady amount of progesterone, it's helping to balance everything, which is where we are going to be you know, feeling good and everything working if we are more balanced. So I feel like the IUD has done that as well. I also feel like it's helped with sleep um, um, as well. I feel like the testosterone has helped with that too. But I do think that having that steady progesterone, and again, you're just not all over the place. So really has balanced me out. Um, I believe it also has helped with my skin and um, what else? Yeah, so so there's a lot of pluses there. Um, plus, it's nice. I don't have to worry about anything. The device is in there. I didn't have any sort of discomfort. It was a little uncomfortable having it put in, but once it was in, 
you didn't I had a, maybe a little bit of cramping after but that was it so really not nothing crazy to where it was you know horribly upsetting I, I know a lot of women are nervous to have the IUD put in you hear the horror stories as well there is a chance that the IUD can become embedded or sort of attached or kind of grows into tissue I have heard that and I do have know some women that has that has happened to so but any woman that I know has it happened to them it was a not nothing crazy the removal was never I have heard that it was like horrible that they had to have it removed which means they do like an ultrasound and that way they can guide it out and watch what they're doing and usually it's just you know stuck and they just have to kind of pull it can cause a little bit of discomfort because it is um, maybe they have to tear the tissue around a little bit that's the worst horror story I've heard about it that someone can have a, a complication um, but the nice thing is you can leave it in for now it's five to seven years again I have the Mirena and um, which you know my doctor at the time was like okay well we'll put this in we could leave it in five seven years and then you'll be done. Um, I'll probably be in menopause, post-menopause. So now that is where we're going to now start to talk about the little downfalls or negative, you know, uh, cons about the IUD. So that is one thing that does bother me and it still does bother me because I have the IUD in there. How do I know? Uh, you also lose a sense of your cycle. So you really don't know what's happening with your cycle. Um, you can't really chart it. I've tried to keep track. There kind of somewhat is a rhythm, but you really don't know if you're PMSing and you do still have the PMS symptoms. Um, you still kind of feel now that it's been a year, I have noticed I still do somewhat have a cycle but I'm not bleeding anymore. Um, for a while, every, I mean, I was consistently, constantly spotting. So I did go to the doctor for that and she said it was kind of normal because you're getting that progesterone released, um, you know, a lot of heavy discharge and a lot of spotting. And that went on, but I'm happy to report with the, a little bit over a year update that I am not, I haven't seen any sort of bleeding in a couple months. So. The bleeding is gone. Um, I do maybe notice a cyclic, you know, kind of cyclic uh, um, that I'm noticing of where I'll have the heavy discharge, that I will notice a change in my discharge um, as maybe that's kind of my cycle. So I'll cycle through kind of some different discharge, then it will go. But that is kind of a bummer. I still kind of do have to wear some sort of liner because I don't know, there's still a lot of um, heavy discharge. So that's not pleasant, but it's better than hemorrhaging. So yes, we have to take what we can get ladies and we've got to weigh the lesser of the evils. Uh, so that's another con um, that I don't love. I also don't um, like the fact that I do believe it's got, it really can make you retain water and I have another woman that asked a question about weight gain. Of course, I was nervous about that myself. Um, I did not report any weight gain. Um, I have been gained some weight, but that is muscle. I've discussed this in some of my past videos, and I'll do another update with that as well, my diet, my exercise, and my weight. Um, my weight has increased just, you know, since this started with the whole perimenopause, I've gone up a few pounds also, um, which I think is that, you know, a little bit around the middle, around the waist. My waist is not as small. My, my waist was a little bit more on the natural side. It was small. So I have noticed a little, it's almost just like this extra layer. Let me know if you can relate. Um, also, I have been working out, adding really heavy weights and more resistance training in my the past couple years. So I also know that when I'm lifting, um, I am up. So I'm up probably about six to seven pounds, but I do believe that that's mostly muscle. So I do not believe that the IUD has made me gain weight. And what I understand, a lot of women say that. And remember, I think we all can get lost with this because it's really, they say maybe the increase of appetite. So it doesn't just 
put fat on you. It can increase your appetite to where you're so hungry and you're eating more. And then therefore you gain maybe a little bit of weight. So let's like clarify that. Um, but I don't believe that it has just put on weight. But I could see how your appetite could get out of control. And our appetite is already out of control because we are craving sugar and sweets and alcohol. <laughs> so I definitely can, you know, um, say that that's been very difficult to control. Uh, but I think that the IUD, because here we go again with the balancing out, it helps everything. So it's going to control you're not going to have that so severe with the cravings and again the bleeding and the roller coaster of the mood swings and the low libido and so i just think here we go again it's literally helping to just kind of slow down that roller coaster and those spikes and evening you out so that's what i wanted to report i think hopefully i'm not forgetting anything but yes my weight is a little bit up but i do think it's more because of the weight training that i'm doing and i am lifting heavier and um, my diet is still the same but it did not just put on weight but I could see how it could help to do that but again I also feel like because I felt it's getting better but that water retention was fierce okay I just felt like I was constantly retaining a lot of water and my doctor said yes that's normal because you're constantly getting that progesterone think PMS, we bloat, that's because of that increase in uh, progesterone and then we bleed. So it makes sense why you would constantly have more water retention kind of all the time. Now it has gotten better, but I think that that's just because you're constantly having that progesterone released in your, um, from the IUD. So if anyone wants to throw something in there, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking that that's what is happening. So I think that's concluded it, but yes, if you need any information, I am so here to help. Any questions that you have, if you're thinking of getting an IUD, if you have an IUD, please put it in the comment section below. We would all love to hear, and I am here for you. If you have any questions, I am so here for you. Just put it in the comments. I will get back to you quickly as possible and answer any questions or concerns you have, because again, I've had it for a little over a year, and um, yes, I am here for you. And I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Please join in on the conversation. It helps. I'm telling you, it helps, okay? And I'd love to know where you're at. Where are you? Are you struggling? Are you doing better? Let me know. And all my love. <laughs>